complaining, you just praying and praising God. How, how do you get that mentality? It's because of the way he's seeing his situation. It's because of his perspective. See, see, Paul knew that God is always worthy of my praise. Because no matter what I go through, it does not devalue my God. See, I might not feel good about the situation, but just because I'm going through hardship doesn't mean my God has lost value. No matter if I'm receiving from God or I'm going through the valley, God is still God. God is still highly exalted. God is still seated and still reigns and still has all power in his hand despite what I go through. So Paul understood that God is always worthy of his praise. Despite being stripped and beaten, despite being battered and bruised, despite being locked up and in prison, despite what, what it looked like, Paul and Silas knew that God is still worthy of praise. I might be hurt right now, but God is still worthy of praise. I might be bleeding right now, but God is still worthy of my praise. Even if I'm in a prison cell, God is still worthy of my praise because my situation does not devalue God. Nothing can make God lose his, his value. So if God is praiseworthy when I'm coming out, he's praiseworthy if I'm going through. God hasn't changed. The only thing that changes is our perspective. We've got to maintain the proper perspective because some people will allow their situation to cut their praise off. Some people get going, going through something, they don't have enough strength to give God the praise as if God changed or something. He's still God. Just because your situation changed don't mean you can't give God a praise. He's still seated high. Isaiah said, high and exalted, I saw the Lord. And his train filled the temple. Amen. He's still seated high. He's still exalted. Amen. No matter what we experience, even when we feel imprisoned by our situation, is God still worthy of praise? Even when the bills are piling up, is God still worthy of our praise? Even when we're going through some of the hardships of life, can God still get some praise? Did he change? God is still the same, but, but sometimes our perspective will allow us to be shackled and allow our praise to be incarcerated and in prison to the point that we don't even think God is worthy of praise because of what we go through. But we've got to maintain a proper perspective and recognize that despite what I'm going through, God is still where he is. He's still high and exalted. He's still holy. He's still righteous. He's still mighty. He's still God. Despite what I go through. And what I really like about this is the Bible says that it was the midnight hour when they began to pray and sing songs. It was the midnight hour that they began to give God praise. And this is just true that midnight actually represents the darkest hour of the day. You see, in midnight, you can't see your way out of your situation. See, midnight is when, when, when it seems like the sun has completely gone. When it seems like the light that's at the end of the tunnel has been quenched out. Midnight is when you don't think that it's going to get any better. But it's in that hour that we've got to give God praise. Because God is still worthy of praise despite the hour of our life. 